All right, guys, here we go. We are live again, Airgun Expo 2022. It's Thursday, second live video for the day. We're gonna be shooting some SWA air guns. Tyler, you like these, don't you? Yes, they are probably one of the most utilitarian guns that you can get. Yeah. If you can fit something into this magazine, it will shoot it, there you as long as it fits. <laughs> yes, there you go. <sighs> you know, I almost forgot, before we get started, I definitely wanna say thank you to all of our sponsors. We got Gateway to Air Guns, Air Gun Pro Shop, we got all of this whole group of folks here that have come together to help us do this event this week. So definitely check out our website, theairgunexpo.com. SWA is also a sponsor. That's the manufacturer of these guns. And uh, let's talk a little bit about what we have here. First of all, I want to announce something very, very cool. Maybe you guys can see it. Um, the original SWA did not have a gauge. We now have a gauge. This was a, a long awaited for upgrade. Yeah, people really wanted this. There was a little bit of a technical challenge getting this made because, well, you we don't need to go into it. Challenge solved, it works great. So there we go. Um, if you have an original SWA, or if you have an old PBBA, one of the old PBBA air guns, yeah. gauge is gonna work. So we're gonna be getting a bunch of them made up. We don't have them just yet. So maybe we can, if you're interested, email us, we'll get you on a list yeah. and we'll get an order together and we'll get some gauges. But all of the new guns that come out are going to have the gauge. So I know that like one state, I think it's Tennessee, yes. requires a gauge, a pressure gauge in the gun to hunt with it. So That's correct. it's a necessity, really. Yep. So what we're going to be doing today, I'm going to go ahead and we'll set those down. The guns come in three different sizes. They come in an eight inch pistol. Um, hand me my pistol carbine I got there, would you yep. please? Uh, there you go. Yes, this is, my, this is my personal gun. This is how I like to set mine up this is the eight inch pistol but all of them come with an ar stock adapter so right. that you can put any ar stock you want on it i use this for snakes around the ranch i absolutely love this rig um, my wife can use it it's just light well lightish right um it, but it's very compact easy to use and uh, gives you two solid shots when you need it so i really like putting the ar stock on the pistol so we have the eight inch pistol we have the 15 inch tactical. The tactical comes in both just a straight pistol grip or with an AR stock. And then we have the 27. And the 27 is really gonna be your max power. Um, so deer hunting, yeah. that kind of boar hunting. And also you can swap out, right now we've got a rifle choke in it because we're gonna be shooting some 400 grain slugs. You can change out your choke tubes. Yeah, you can change out to different chokes. And there's like a cylinder choke, modified, improved. Uh, improved. Uh, and extra full, but it's a standard sort of 20 gauge choke. They're not proprietary. They're just regular old jokes. Yeah. If you have some laying around the house, yeah. swap them out. May work. So, yeah. all right. So the slugs we're running are the DGS slugs. Um, they are vicious. They're about 398 grain to 400 grain. I guess they're close enough when they're yeah. that heavy. Um, but we're going to go ahead and take a couple shots uh, at steel when we are about 40 yards, 35 yards, say 35 yards ish. Um, you can get different magazines as well. You got the two shot, three shot. Yeah, the two shot, three shot. Yeah. The two shot, we normally would say run slugs in that one. And then if you're hunting birds, um, you have the three shot mag, you can load yeah. up with shot. So we'll show how that works too. It's pretty slick. It's super easy. Um, you need some wadding, which are the nitro wads. Um, that's the plunger to set it. Here's your shot. Yep, shot, shot cup. cup. And we're running uh, in, uh, an ounce and three eighths. Ounce and yeah, ounce and three eighths. But there's still more room in the in the mag if you want to put more shot in it. So right. it's up to you how much you want to run. So I guess shoot yeah. it. So you can load from either side. It's got the dovetail here to help guide you in there, and then there's a little detent. Just snap it into place. And you cannot load it the other way. If you try, these these rails are sized so that you can't load it in backwards. Yes, but good way to remember, small hole should be toward the back. <laughs> right, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so when you go to cock it, it is a little hard to cock. I recommend just yeah. getting up there and pulling it back. And then you have your safety here. And on this, it doesn't go back forward. It actually fires from this position. Yes, so. When you're shooting, do not put your hand down here because that will not feel yeah. pleasant. Yeah, you want to make sure you're out on the tube yeah. away from the cocking handle. And this magazine actually seals up very well as far as air escaping because there's O-rings and it's mm -hmm. Delrin so it expands. 
but you still want to not have your hand near the mag as well, okay? So just be mindful of that. Be forward of this and you'll be fine. Right. Ready when you are, boss. So it's, it's putting out plenty of power. <laughs> it's about, it's, it's with this long barrel, uh, when it's shooting optimally, it's over 450 foot pounds. So a lot of juice. Um, it's not regulated. You do get like two shots on the slugs. You get three shots on the shot. Um, it's interesting because each of these is built by hand. They're not mass produced. So there's Terry Tate actually builds these for us and they are individually created. He puts them together, tests them. Each gun's a little different. So if you wanna like know their optimal pressure, it's usually between 3000 and 3200. If your first shot's like banging and your second shot's Whoa. not quite as good, right. give it a little more pressure. So like an extra 100 PSI. If your first shot's not very good and your second shot's banging, then a little less pressure. So right. you really need to, kind of, you can hear it, but you can also put it over crony and know for sure. So it's really, each gun's unique. It's got its own personality. Um, but it will flat hammer things. I mean, it will absolutely slam yeah, them. If you, if you wanted to shoot hogs, deer, yeah. most big game, you're going to be able to, yeah. to get use it this. No problem. And then if you want to go dove hunting the next day, change out your choke tube and throw some shot in it. Yeah. And it is a relatively small tube. I mean, this is the 18 inch tube. Yes, this is the 18 inch tube. Um, I don't know the exact volume, but you can hand pump this if you want. It doesn't need 4,000 PSI. It's like three to 32. It's usually the optimal, 3,000 to 3,200. Right. Very easy hand pump friendly, or if you have a little portable compressor, just don't let it run dry. If it runs all the way dry, you'll need a tank to reseat the valve. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. So you get, now he's on his second shot. You do need to remember to push the mag over. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so it's not. You have to pull forward here, yep. kick the mag over. Yeah. It'll pop into place. Yeah, it's not an automatic cycling mag; it's manual. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It hits with. It's, it's just vicious. <laughs> it's just plain old vicious, is what it is. Now, that was shooting um, slugs. We're gonna transition over now to shot. And so I'm gonna go move the camera because I know a lot of people wanna know what's the pattern like. Right. We're at 25 yards and I think I'm shooting number four or number five. That's probably, I was like number four. Uh, yeah, probably four. But I'm gonna say four, four or five, but I'm pretty sure that's number four. And so we're gonna get set up and move the camera. We'll go ahead and shoot, I guess we'll just shoot the mag, all three, three shots. Yeah, we can do that. And just pepper that target. You guys get an idea of what kind of pattern you're going to get at 25 yards. So I get the, I get the camera set, and we'll be right back. Again, available at ArrogantProShop.com. Yes, we do have them in stock currently, but first come, first serve, as there's not huge inventory. Yeah. All right. So we switched out. We have the extra full choke in it now. One of the things people have asked me, and we're thinking about changing the pistol up because the pistol does not have any threads, okay? So first of all, let me just clear this so people don't get all upset with me putting my finger in it. <laughs> yeah. But actually, wait a minute. Is it threaded? He might have threaded this one. We had talked about doing some oh, yeah. pistols with the threads. I don't know that that, that might have been like a leftover barrel he, he changed. I found. But yeah, no, we were thinking about threading these as well because people wanted to shoot the round ball out of this right. and a little bit of spin at the end with the round ball makes a difference. So I'll have to ask him if that's going to be normal, but most of the time the pistols are just fully, are just smooth bore. You ready? Yeah. All right, let me put this down. Now the 15 though, that shoots. The 15 is threaded. The 15 shoots great. It's about... 375 foot pounds with the shorter barrel. Um, that's probably my favorite gun. It's the most popular um, because it's compact. Yeah. You know, this is a great sort of, we'll call it a personal utility device kind of, <laughs> kind of thinking. And it shoots the double out buck. Shoots double out buck, shoots double round ball. We have the uh, like 250 grain round ball. You can just put two of those in the, in the mag, shoot two at a time. Mm. Um, whatever shot you want and the slugs. 
a really, really good utility air gun right here. I love this thing. So, all right, let me put this down. All right, boss. <clears throat> now, we're 25 yards. At 35 yards, we were dead center on the scope. And at 25 yards with shot, we're, we're at, you're still holding center, right? Still holding center, okay. correct. Yeah. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, yeah. gobble. Yeah. <laughs> it, it groups pretty well. Yeah. Like you were saying, you hunt, you hunt squirrel with this? Yes. Or, or pest bait with squirrel? Yeah. <laughs> pest bait I've been, been using mine with the extra full and a pattern like that, you're easily going to be able to rip a squirrel off a tree. Yeah. Even if it's in thick leaves. Angie, do you think we can get Squirrel Master to authorize such things? I'll get stickers. <laughs> <laughs> if they could, if other teams could bring quads, we can bring these, right? Yeah. Yeah. It... Again, if it fits in the mag, it shoots. You can actually mix shot as well. So you can have like some F bucks or 22 cal buck and then lighter stuff you can make up your own loads depending on what you're wanting to do if it fits it's going to shoot yeah and i've not really found any size shot that hasn't shot well out of yeah. it with the extra full yeah because i've put in some number six some seven yep i've shot some blackbirds and stuff that were flying around so it is a very useful it's versatile. gun yeah, yeah you can be hunting deer one day and then you can go hunt dove later in the afternoon i want to show folks how easy it is to load this real quick um so sue i don't know what camera would be best um camera two maybe all right so we have these nitro wads and they're just just typical 20 gauge reloading supplies so this is not anything special if you have uh if you reload shotgun you probably already have the stuff you need so you take one of these wads get it started and the guns ship with a starter kit, which comes with some shot, some slugs, the, the loading tool, a little shot cup. So really, when you get it, you can, as long as you can air it up, you can go shooting immediately. Um, so then you take and load in whatever you want here. These are 72, 62, Six, uh, 0.61 caliber, and they just roll in there. Two, two, you put two at a time. Now, what you'd want to do really, because you want to shoot those with the rifle right. uh, thing. So we'll go ahead and put the rifle choke in just to show what it can do, hopefully with accuracy on those two. I've already put one in there. Now I'm going to put a little extra, extra lead in this just to see how crazy we can get. So I'm going to do maybe one and three quarter ounce. Okay. I can't get the cup in. <laughs> it does. It does come with the cup. All right, so that's one, maybe just two ounces. We'll just go crazy. There's one. Actually, that's not an, that's not an ounce. That's a three quarter ounce. Yeah, that's three quarter or something like that. Now we're full right to the brim. I know you guys probably can't see that, but we're full right to the tippy top there. So the first chamber is double round ball. Right. And then that is the shot. Uh, you want this one? This is an extra one. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. So and then we'll swap the swap the choke out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't want to be putting shot through your uh, rifle choke. That's uh, a yeah, that's a no no. Makes a mess. <laughs> also doesn't pattern real well. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. And now I haven't shot the round ball like this, so I don't know what what's going to happen. So. Hopefully, yeah. We're on the paper. Uh, hopefully, we're on the paper. I I would just go aim center again. Are we on the Are we on the round ball? Yes. Okay. I hope so. Yes. <laughs> I forgot. I'll leave it up to you, Tyler. Okay. So we're on target. You got it, Sue. Yep. Okay. High to the right. Yeah. Yep, I see high. it. You see it? They paired up there. Yep. Paired up to the Son right. Son of a gun. 
So if that was what you wanted to shoot regularly, you could adjust the scope. Yeah, but I mean, they're- They're, they're like an inch and a half inch apart. Inch and a half, yeah. That's, dude, I almost want to do another two. Can you adjust? Can you Kentucky windage that? Yeah, I can All get right. that. All right, we're going to Kentucky windage that. round ball here I really want to find a good source for those round ball that just devastating I think oh. if you were say coyote hunting and you needed a shotgun if the coyotes got in close yeah the double out buck there would uh, double take round care ball. of that yeah. yeah they um actually there was a when I would go see hunter supply they used to love uh, some some of the different 35 cows because the mag was real deep, mm -hmm. and they'd run two round ball, and they would hunt hogs with it, and it would put the two round ball like next to each other. So it gives you like a little extra thump. I mean, that's 202, 250 grain round ball, I think is what they weigh. Forgive me if I'm a little off of my weight, but that's a lot. All you got it, right. Kentucky Winders that for us? Yep. Okay. There you go. Those ones, uh separate a little more yeah but i mean still if you were, if yeah, you were I mean, needing to take something out the one was about dead center yeah cool well let's go All ahead right. and finish it up and tell you what um pull the mag and i'll i'll swap the uh choke out now this one is my personal 27 that is the um brown they they're not making the brown anymore it wasn't as popular as they thought it might be yeah no. uh, but it's, everything's black now, but if there is somehow a particular color you'd want it, can be done. It's special order. It's a lot more money, but anyway, Cerakote is what these all come in. So anyway, but there are the, if you get a 27, it's going to be black, just so you guys know. Okay, pattern it up here, and then we're going to call it a day. Oh. Whoa. That was too much lead. Yeah. That was interesting. Now I yeah, want to try because that was all more off to the right too. Looking interesting. So it's... more lead was bad. You got one on the far left, one in the middle, and one on the. Far yeah, left. and most of it's kind of low and to the right. So, well, we did. That was the third shot. The third too. shot too. So I don't know if the first shot. You know what? I'm gonna load this up. I'm gonna put like one ounce in because I've been overfilling it. Yeah. In my ignorance, <laughs> just thinking more is better. Let me actually take a little off okay. and we'll do one ounce shot and see what the pattern looks like. Let me fill the gun up here. In fact, you know what? I know we're just... Well, if I if I filled it all the way though, it may grew. No, I think what I'm gonna do is do, like the first shot can be like an ounce and then because you're going to get two shots that are going to be very, very, very close. Right. Um, when it's optimized. So we're going to do one ounce in this in this cup. It's like, it just, it's only half full. It really looks like we need more. <laughs> and then I'm going to do uh ounce and a quarter, maybe. I'm trying to remember what Terry told me to do. And I'm not, I was not. I know everything that I was doing at my house or have been doing, it's been like between an ounce and an ounce and a quarter. Okay. First, first chamber is an ounce. Okay. Second chamber is ounce and a quarter. Okay. Okay. So let's see, cause we got a fairly clean target there. So we should be able to tell the difference between the patterns. Let's hope. You ready? Yep. Cause that would really surprise me. I thought for sure we'd have lead getting there better, but it just didn't. Okay, so that's ounce. Oh, there you go. Ounce and a quarter. <laughs> ounce and a quarter is what that's, you want. That's what you want for best uh, patterning. <laughs> that was really good. Let's. I want to do that again. Okay. See, I, I just want to see. Hand me the yep. the mag because. No, no, I'm just, just going to hit it again because... You want to shoot it? 
No, no, no. I would usually shoot it. I it just, I hadn't done that work. I hadn't actually done that. That's sort of like, if, if maybe, uh, if things work out, I can get Eric and Angie to do some grip stuff with the, with this yet again. Um, but, she can be shooting her squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, I hadn't really put the time into figuring out what load does best. But if that's any indication, and I, huge difference. I hadn't shot on paper, but I had been using an ounce to an ounce and a quarter. Yep. But. Well, ounce and a quarter, which is, I think, exactly what Terry has been telling me to use. Yeah. <laughs> he did invent it. He has shot his gun, like, forever. Maybe I should just, like, listen and not... No, nah, no, nah, we're just going to shoot that one. Yeah, I was. that is amazing. I did not... Yeah, the ounce and a quarter, by far, you're getting the best patterning. That looked really good. Like, really good. Yeah, if you were turkey hunting, where it's legal with an air gun, ounce and a quarter. That's a lot of yeah, pellets you're, on that you're gonna, target. Oh you're going to get it done. Wow. All right, so we're loading up ounce and a quarter in both, uh, both chambers. And let's do it. I would not have thought that. Not not at all. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's grouping. Really good. Really good. Yeah. I just I would not have thought that. And this is with the extra full. Extra full choke. Yep. Ounce and a quarter. And that is a lot of lead on a a, a paper target there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Yep. Well, now we know. Ounce and a quarter, and extra a quarter. full, <laughs> optimal fill. You're going to get some really good coverage. That was impressive. Well, Tyler, thank you for hanging out with me today, yeah. shooting some SWA stuff. Thanks for having me out. And anytime, man. If you guys want to know more about the product, check it out at airgunproshop.com. If you have questions, we'll be pleased. I mean, I kind of am the guy with the SWA brand, so I've kind of my gun in a sense. So yeah. If you guys have any questions, I'm, I'm pleased to help you guys figure out what you might need, and you can pick it up there at Aragon Pro Shop. Guys, this is going to be it. We're going to go have some fun. We're going to get some hunting licenses and do a little hunting. Maybe we'll see this bonus. out there. You know, I don't see why we wouldn't load that up. Yeah, maybe so, uh, get some quail or, I think or something. We should bring it. I think we should bring it. So we're going to have that in the truck, and we'll see what else we got. Um, but we're going to go do that, have some fun today. And we'll be back later this afternoon with another live. We're going to have Hawk Optics here. It'll be 4 o'clock Mountain Time. And then tomorrow, we have another full day of range testing and shooting air guns. So it's been a big week. I mean, we'll have, at the end of all of this, we'll probably have, I don't know, 40 or 50 pieces of content um, by the end of the week, maybe more. Uh, um, that's it's that's, just a lot. <laughs> that's a lot for the people at home to try to get through in a day. Yeah. So. And if you don't get through it all, you can check it out on our website, the airgunexpo.com. I want to say thank you to all of our sponsors, GTA, Airgun Pro Shop, and the whole slew of everybody else you see here on the card. Um, go check them out on our website. Guys, this could be it for now. We're going to uh, move all this stuff back in, get our acts together, go do some hunting. Thanks for watching.